Previously on Reigns Park Uncovered, the boys flew to Guernsey only for the game to be called off and they absolutely did behave themselves for the rest of the day. This guy has two valid reasons for going to home games. It's close to my house, I can drink whilst watching the game. We're not sure how we feel about elf outfits being used as Christmas jumpers. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. And nutmegged Carl and knocked over his drink in one move. <laughs> Carl calls Ants Mr. Mean. Mr. Mean. Imagine calling someone Mr. Mean at the ripe age of 35. And we can expect Rains Park to be making the most of their wide players. If, if they play a free, yes, it's settled into a five. But if they wing backs get up, the ball's going to be in between with Sweens and Julian between those gaps on transition quickly, but playing forward. And now the Binfield match. Go boys, yeah. Come on, come on. Nice fast start. Nice fast start. Binfield are going uphill in the first half, and judging by their opening salvo, they're not too bothered about actually going up there. Okay, maybe that's a bit harsh, for Binfield are starting pretty strongly. Although, an innocuous clash seems to have ended Manu Oke Williams' game within the opening minutes. Uh, that's silly, come on! Deal with that better! Is, it, is he done? His teammates carry on in his absence to defy form and gravity and have the livelier opening starts to keep the ball up the hill. Good arch! Round that. Troy Murray works the ball into Dante Whitaker, and he strikes a goal. Let him hit it. Good. That's OK. Well done. That's OK. Binfield's self-belief must be on the rise at this stage. They just need to make sure they don't allow Reigns Park Vale to hit them on the counter. It's not foul. Turn, turn, turn. Four runs. Direct. Direct. Good boy. Put it Dicko's there. Yes! yes! Get in there! <laughs> Love it, you two. Just a few minutes in, Charlie Penny surges forwards in the middle and plays in Brad Sweeney. Sweeney runs down the right and rolls the ball across the box and directly through the kind of crack that Binfield's season has been built on, allowing Jordan Gallagher the easiest of finishes. Sweeney, Sweeney, great touch. Judy! Well done. Moody, well done! If you could bottle up the confidence that the gold is injected into the Val's veins, he'd be a cocaine dealer. And if you could turn helping Binfield deal with the situation into some other profession, you'd be a mental health counsellor, I guess. I don't know, I didn't think that through. Yeah, yeah! Deliver. Julie's there, turn, hit it. There it is. Oh, I love that. Hey, well done! The Vale are bringing a storm and Binfield are grasping for umbrellas. Box and box! Pass, hit it. Unlucky, eh? Well done, well done! Oh, not there. This is fucking hole, mate. Sometimes when you score early as well, it's like, fuck it, you want to go score two, three, four. Yeah, you, need to, you want to score, score again, really. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's like we scored and it's just like, now we're taking yeah, off the yeah, off the gas yeah. rather than scoring and fucking... Ant and Josh clearly want their team to get the scalpel out, although the visitors are prepared to defend deep and see off the waves of attack. Stay organised, moves there. Make sure you're organised, please. Sweet, stay your shot here. Oh, good, good, good Archie. Arch. Louis Downey chases a loose ball in the middle and comes up against Connor Jeans's staunch tackle, which really isn't that bad, truth be told. Hey! Hey! Yeah. Reaction! Reaction! Warm, Somebody get warm. Lamont get warm. Oh, it does look like it. We'll see. You'll be able to see from Raz. Fucking the sound on it though. No, I didn't feel it was too it's bad. It's a red line like that is. That's <laughs> fucking red. If he's caught him, and if he's caught him, if he's caught him, it is. We take it back. It is. It is pretty bad. We're not just saying that because we don't want to agree with a Palace fan. Oh, hey! Fuck me. We're so deep. <laughs> That's struggling. That's, yeah. If he's been caught there with studs up, that's not good enough for the referee. Nowhere near good enough. No, I don't know. I'm just not convinced of that. Oh. Great run, Dicko. Whitaker's about to tee up Daniel Roth for Binfield's best chance. Try deal with the box! Moves open up! Open up! Man coming, man coming! Oh, fucking flat shit passing, fucking hell! Detail, man! 
Hey, consistency isn't good enough. We're 50-50. Raise it, please. Josh wants to raise the standards and his team respond accordingly. Better. Just roll it, roll it one, roll it one. Positive though. One more, get running then. Oh. Hey, that's miles better. Much better, well done. Better consistency, good. The Vale are looking likely for a second and Binfield keeper Ayman Aziz is not standing for it. Make sure this is set. He's come. It's got to be yellow, surely. It's got to be yellow, surely. Aziz does not get booked and with a few minutes to go before half time, Binfield will be happy to have gotten away with conceding so few chances, if indeed they can make it through the final flourish. Now higher, Sweeney. Now higher. Now higher. Good. Seconds. On that one. On that one. Good. Good, Sweeney. Yeah. Yeah, good boys. Come on. Yeah! yeah. Yes! Oh, Get yeah. in there! Well done. Sweeney, love it! Get in. That's a great finish as well from Cal Ho. Binfield just couldn't get to half time. Sweens fires an effort from long range and Azaze parries, only for Callum Hope to pick up the rebound and fire into the corner to double the Vale's lead. Right. This has been good. But that bit's been too this bit's been too disjointed. Yeah. And that's with everything, by the way. That's with energy. The energy's yeah, 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 yeah. disjointed as well. It's yeah. been like that's what I, that's what I was gonna, you know when you said it was, it's been flat. Yeah. It's like yeah. it's like don't enjoy being flat. Right, like if, you're, yeah. if you're flat, do something about it. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, fucking yeah. show a bit more. Yeah, yeah, Talk yeah. a bit more. Yeah. Like. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Double! Yeah, no, yeah. No, I agree. No, no, you're right. You sponsor. Yeah, me to like, almost like liven up again in a sense. Like. Hey! It's nice Tell to Daddy. see them all here. Always like that. Yeah, with the ball, off the ball though, he's not, he's not, he's not doing very well off with Moose. Moose is getting the ball every time. You know, he's telling the ten to do a job on him, he ain't done a very good job. <laughs> yeah, on the ball, he looks reasonably sharp, doesn't he? Who's that? The, uh, the ten. Yeah. On the ball. Oh, ten. Yeah. So he's alright, he's their keeper. I love the keeper. Yeah, he is, yeah, I walked past it earlier, I was like, oh, I'm starving. <laughs> Everyone feeling okay? Where's your finger? Can I see it, please? Is it? Wait, no, isn't like. Have you got stub marks, or is it? Yeah, well, I've got blood all over my ankles. Oh, isn't it? Oh. Did you catch it? Mm -hmm. I caught me out to the tree. The rest of them caught me as well, but didn't get it there. Right, okay. Um, Bish, well done. Really good. All right, Penny, I think you've been outstanding. Really good in terms of consistency, uh, with percentages of keeping the ball, looking after the ball. Naif as well. Our friends over there. All right, well done. Um, all right, it hasn't. Um, Hasn't been bad, okay. It could be better though. All right, it's been good. It's been good pr for probably overall probably sixty percent of it. All right, but without the amount of ball that we've had and the opportunities we've had, and some of it's been excellent, it's just then falling short on other areas where our consistency needs to be better. It should really be, you know, seventy, eighty, thirty, twenty, really, and you know, better than what it has been. Okay, it's more fucking sixty, forty, being kind. All right, okay, that's not good enough for our standards. All right, we need to be better than that. Right, and that's just loose touches, poor detail, trying to do the right things. I'm not saying you're not trying to do the right, you're trying to do the right things, but it's like fucking that needs to, well, that needs to come off, all right? And then the difference between that coming off, a good example was the one where we put the diag into you and you touched it, went to touch it off. Just literally right thing, set it down, <laughs> want to do it one touch, but we're a yard short and then that's, it's broken down. And they're the little details that we're talking about, okay? Don't get me wrong, I'm not saying it's fucking, it's not good enough, all right? That's just one example, but we can be better. Our standards are better than that, all right? Um, wide areas I'd like us to use a little bit more. I know they're nullifying it a little bit, but looking at the, you know, in terms of the amount of overloads down one side, if it's cow, arch with Geordie, Sweens, we haven't really done enough of it, all right? But they are nullifying it. But if we can transition in terms of transfer the ball quicker, all right, I think we'll be able to open them up a little bit more. Again, but that's just, if it happens, we're building up our play quite well. It's then, sometimes it's, it feels a little bit flat. It feels a little bit comfortable. All right, we're sort of just coasting through the game. Now, I know you probably don't feel like that out there, but you're probably thinking, oh, fucking hell, things could be better. But no one's going to change that, okay? No one's going to change that. It's not all of a sudden just going to drop to you and you're going to think, oh, fucking hell, I can, 
you know, like all of a sudden it's going to work for me. Like, example for the second goal. Fucking got the ball, fucking ran it, jinxed a few people, but he made that happen, all right? And then Cal was there backing it up and putting, putting a lovely cross which went in, okay? Uh, <laughs> um, it was a great, great fucking finish. Great finish. But yeah, it's little things like that. Don't be flat, okay? If you feel that you're being flat, fucking make something happen. And that doesn't mean you have to go and get the ball and fucking do all these fucking... That was just an example. It might, all it has to take is a bit of communication. All right, fucking liven someone up to get themselves into a pocket to create space for them to get the ball or you to get the ball. Like I said, don't be flat, all right? Don't be one of those players that fucking just coast through the game. Fucking go and make something happen, all right? We've got players fucking in the squad that are fucking dying for the shirt, all right? Dying for the shirt for the right reasons, okay? All right? Don't let them have it, yeah? Yeah. And yeah, I thought we were, we were a little bit flat after the goal, actually. I think we, as soon as we scored, we sort of just... That was it. That was us sort of fucking took our, took our foot off the, off the pedal. All right, and that's, we spoke about that, I think, a couple of weeks ago in terms of when you're playing against teams that are down there that are struggling, fucking score and then score again and then score again and then score again. Because that is fucking probably the, the most boring fucking 45 minutes I've watched for a fucking long time. We'll watch the video back and you'll be thinking, fucking hell, like that was boring. Yeah, Don't no. let that happen in the, yeah. in the, in the, yeah. in the second half, all right? Fucking go yeah, out there and give energy. Come on. come on, let's go, let's go, come on. 45 boys, come on. <laughs> yeah, if I was Joe Cannon, I'd have gone home by now. Why? Bored, mate. Just bored. Oh. I do fucking... Oh, that smells so good. Oh. <laughs> Just grease, isn't it? Yeah. Just grease. Yeah. No, no changes. changes yet. Thank you. All good? Make sure you're ready. All right. The message is clear. The lack of urgency and consistency needs to be rectified in the second half. No. Yeah, just listen, really. Didn't really say anything. They're happy with how they've done, but they just know the consistency levels haven't been good enough. Yeah, which they agree with. Yeah, which they agree yeah, with, yeah. Yeah, good! Straight away, here we go. They just, they, they just know they can do things a bit better. And then about not being flat, like, you're there probably bored. Don't be bored. Fucking do, do something. Pocket! 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 We're pretty sure Binfield's game plan is to sit deep and then run down the hill like the cheese chasers of yore, something that the Vale defence will need to be wary of. Great ball, Raph. Dicko. Oh. Straight lines, straight lines, straight lines, straight lines. Sweeney's is on, Sweeney's is on. Great pass. Yeah, I love ah, that. I love that. Hey! hey! It's a yellow, it's a yellow. Good decision. It's his second yellow though. You got yellow. Did you not get yellow card? <laughs> You're joking. <laughs> Why didn't you get that yellow card? That was late. That yeah. Really? It was definitely. That was definitely yellow there. It was late there. Quite how Azaz has gotten away with this one, we'll never know. Do you think that was yellow? Just your opinion, not for you. Okay, that's fair enough. Regular viewers will know we never quite get the show-stopping free kicks we crave on this channel, and we're about to find out if Rains Park Vale are going to provide us with the quality we believe we deserve. Fuck me, what the fuck is that? Evidently not. The Vale, however, are on the march. There it is. Oh, okay. Finish. Much of the Vale's most threatening play has come down the right side with Big Mouth Sweeney, so it makes sense for the midfield to try and pick him out a bit more. Oh, ah, so he's in Palace, Palace, Palace. Sweeney does goal. what he does best and races up the flank, outstripping Tyrone Knight and delivering a devilish cross to the back post, where cousin Jordan has peeled away from his marker Shimron Gatin and found the space to pounce unimpeded onto the ball. It's 3-0. The Vale's half-time talk around standards and intensity might well do for Binfield here as they hope to keep the deficit down. They're currently on an average of 3.8 goals conceded per game. As are unlucky! Love that, Lamont. Binfield have got 20 minutes to get through if they're going to keep the score below the average, while Reigns Park and go, Big friends. Mouth Sweeney in particular are quite Very obviously fun. not going to make it easy. Fuck me. Knife! 
A rather naive tug of the shoulder from Knight gives Sweens a license to fall over and the veil a chance from the spot that Jake Gallagher wants to take. Oh. <laughs> 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 Sit down, Grant Mitchell. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, the kick, look at the kick's arms, look fucking over the goal, over the fucking bar. Oh. <laughs> Some of the Binfield defenders are a little pissed off at the referee here and we think we can understand why. Cousin Jordan's penalty hit the bar and then he followed it up. If he touched it, that's a free kick to Binfield. We're pretty sure he didn't, but you can see why they think he did. I mean, he really tried. But then again, he wanted a hat-trick, even if that meant scoring and it not counting, apparently. He's tried to get some height on it, because I think of last time. Yeah. Sweeney! Sweeney's is not the sort of guy who needs a confidence boost, but he's had one anyway. Who's that? That's a great quality! It's weird how he kicks up a fuss, threatens to leave, comes back, gets an opportunity, and fucking since then doesn't look back. Yeah, and that's football. Back, back fucking to being fucking the swings that we had at the fucking yeah. last season. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Football probably should have some sort of mercy rule, although we suspect footballers would be too proud to let it be invoked in their favour. What's that? Just performance. It was very good. Yeah! yeah. Callum Hope converts Aaron Lamont's lovely cross, but it was apparently offside. Well on Lamont, good. Cow unlucky, Lamont, great ball. Yes. Yeah, fuck me. What's that, eight now? Well done. Cheers, guys. Well done. Thanks for watching. If you liked that episode, then please hit the like button, obviously. If you want to see more Reigns Park, including extra team talks and such, join us on YouTube memberships and Patreon, where we show loads more of this stuff, and the episodes are much longer. Uh, we'll see you next week with more Reigns Park Uncovered.